Well, hello, calculus students and seekers of truth. What we have seen before is uh, problems with a tangent and linear approximation of functions. Now what we'll look at is an example where we have implicit differentiation, where you have a case where you don't have a function. So you have some sort of curve here, and I will show you what this curve looks like a little bit later in the video. And we know that it has an x-intercept, at 5, 0. So we want to use the tangent line approximation to approximate the value when x is equal to the value of y when x is equal to 5.2. Okay. So the process is similar to what we had going on before, except that uh, we have to find the slope a little bit different. So 5, 0 here, this is our point. Right? And what's left for us now is to find the slope. And to find the slope, we have to take the derivative, and this is an implicit differentiation problem. So we have to keep in mind that y is a function of x. And y is a function of x. So when we take the derivative of both sides, we get negative 16x plus, and the product rule is going to apply here. So I'm going to look at this as 5x and then y. So the derivative of the first is 5 times y plus the derivative of the second, which is y prime, times the first, 5x, plus 3y squared y prime is equal to 0. And then we uh, need to isolate. So let me be clear. This is a y squared. And we need to isolate y prime. So everything that doesn't have y prime in it, we are going to move to the other side of the equation. And everything else, we're going to leave on the left side. So we're going to have 16x minus 5y is equal to y prime times 5x plus 3y squared y prime. Um, we're going to factor out a y prime. And we're left with 5x plus 3y squared is equal to the expression, whoops, the expression that we had on the left side. Okay, so that expression we had before is 16x minus 5y. Then divide everything by 5x plus 3y squared, so 16x minus 5y, all of this over 5x plus 3y squared. And so y prime here, this is really uh, you know the same thing as dy dx. I don't write dy dx just because it kind of clutters up the picture. So we uh, found the, the equation for the expression for the derivative. And now what we need to do is figure out the slope at the point 5, 0. So dy dx at 5, 0 is equal to, we're going to plug in 5 for x and 0 for y. Uh, I realize that this is a little, this is an error here. This should be uh, square. That should be y squared, not y prime. Okay. Sorry, so let's get back to the question. Uh, when we plug in 0 for y and 5 for x, we get 16 times 5 minus 5 times 0. All of this divided by 5 times 5. So the problem simplifies quite nicely. We get just 16 over 5, or uh, three, uh, let's see, 3.2. I actually I'm actually gonna leave it at 16 over 5. Okay. And we want to use this oh, uh, to estimate the value of y when x is equal to 5.2. So we need to write uh, the tangent line equation. The tangent line. So it's going to be y minus 0, so we're still using this point, is equal to the slope, which is 16 over 5, times x minus 5. Okay, so 
this is just y equals 16 over 5 times x minus 5. Right. So using this, uh, this equation of the, the, the slope here in order to figure out what's the value of y when x is equal to 5.2. So that's approximately, and this is the, the approximation, right? This is the approximate uh, value of y of 5.2. So 16 over 5 times 5.2 minus 5, or that's just 0.2. And we can work out all of this math here. Um, I like to look at this as 16 over 5 times 0.2 is really 1 fifth. Okay. So we have uh, 16 over 25 as uh, our linear approximation. This, would, this is the y value for when x is equal to 5.2. Alright, so you can see here um, what I've done as best as I can is uh, try to move or to show you the graph here. So the green here, the, I'm sorry, the red here, that's the curve. Right? And you can see here this is the point five zero, and the gr the the blue here is uh, is effectively the tangent line. Okay, so that's the tangent line, and you can see that the tangent line through the point five zero is very very close to the curve. So instead of trying to figure out, I mean, we could figure out what y of five point two is. All you have to do is plug you know, uh, 5.2 in for x, and then you would have a fun cubic equation to solve for, and it'd be nice and fun and messy. Um, or we could use the method that we did, which is just using derivatives and uh, using the tangent line approximation. And so what this says is that, you know, the value of the curve when x is equal to 5.2 is also very close to the value of the line when x is equal to 5.2. So the tangent, tangent approximation is actually pretty good um, compared to whatever the, the correct exact final answer might be. All right, so this will conclude this lesson. And uh, there is actually one more problem here that you really should be working for your, working on your own. And, you know, I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with the tangent line. Uh, as always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.